Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the HPE ProLine DL380 Gen 10 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on ILO. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLine DL380 Gen 10 server. Do us a favor, find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, I'll top in. Uh, this video is specifically focused on ILO. The Gen 10 uses ILO 5. ILO stands for Integrated Lights Out. That would, if you're familiar with iDRAC for uh, Dell or IPMI for Supermicro, ILO is the basically the same thing, but HPE's version is going to be how you will remote into your server from far away places. Now with ILO, there's two types of licenses. You can have standard or advanced. Advanced is what you want. If you're looking for an ILO license, you can email our sales team and we can definitely help you out with getting you a license. So just sales at cloudengines.com, sales at cloudengines.com and we can get you a license. And now what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna show you how to upgrade from a standard license to an advanced license. So let's hop into the good stuff. Hey, I hope everybody's doing well. This is Ben with Cloud Ninjas, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to update your ILO. So before we get started, there's a couple things that we got to cover first. First thing we're going to need is we're going to need an ILO update file. This is something that you can purchase directly from us. So go ahead and email us at sales at Cloud Ninjas, and we can go ahead and hook you up. The second thing we're going to need is a laptop or desktop that is connected to the same network as our server. We're going to go ahead and use this device to access the ILO web interface so we can log in and then do our ILO update, which that brings us to our first step, which is to open up any web browser of your choice and to search the IP address of the ILO. Doing so will automatically bring us to the ILO web interface login screen. The server we are using has the default login credentials. The default username for your system will be administrator. And if you need the default password of your system, it is going to be located on the label on the server itself. Once we've typed in our credentials, we can click on login. And once we're logged in, we want to go on to the left hand side of the screen and click on firmware and OS software. Now go to the right hand side of the screen and click on update firmware. A menu will pop up with a couple of options to change. We can go ahead and leave the file location at local file. And then where it says choose file, we want to click on that. The file explorer will appear, so we can go ahead and just select our update file. And once the file is selected, we can click on flash. A dialog box will appear saying that this update will cause the ILO to reboot. So we can just press on OK. And at the top of the screen, we can see a progress bar. This will take a bit of time, so we'll go ahead and fast forward and pick back up once it's done. Once it is 100% complete, you will see that the top part of the screen will turn green. We're just going to wait a few seconds and then we'll be redirected to the login page for the ILO. Now, once we're back on the login page, we're going to go ahead and wait a minute or two while the ILO resets. And once it is done, the gray box under the login button will disappear. And then we will get a message at the top of the screen saying that the ILO firmware version has changed and to clear our browser cache before continuing. We're going to go ahead and log back into the ILO. And as we can see, everything has been successfully updated. And that's how you do it. That's how you successfully update your ILO. If you had any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. And if you're looking at purchasing an HP server for your home lab or data center, we got plenty of options to choose from. So hit us up at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. 